morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being. And to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We want to hear from you. Make this show interactive. It's much more entertaining when it's interactive and a dialogue rather than a monologue. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have something to say or if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you want to share a success story or if you have questions, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase longevity products, head to our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470. Ask about joining the Bright Side Ben team, 866-735-2470, or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side. We have been talking about the nature of the cell and the nature of uh, this, its uh, highly organized structure, the nature of its, cry its crystalline nature, the interaction between the water in the cell and the, the fibers in the cell create crystalline water. That same crystalline water is what our bodies as a whole are made up of. But the fact that the cell is this little liquid crystal system that's a combination of super molecules and and, uh, and fibers, literal fibers, cytoskeletal fibers, they call them. And this whole system conducts energy, and it's processing information endlessly from the time it bor it's born, it forms or divides, to the time it dies. The cell itself is a mini computer, and a very, very powerful computer at that. And it has this ability to process information at the tiniest molecular levels. When we talk about a molecule, just to give you a sense of the scale of this thing, a molecule of H2O, a molecule of water in a glass, there are more molecules of water, more H2O molecules in a glass than there are stars in the known universe. That's how small a molecule is. It's like measured in the septillions. There's septillion, if you can even, you know, obviously can't comprehend what that means. A billion, 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 essentially molecules of H2O in a glass of water. If that means molecules are really, really, really small is what I'm saying here, and the molecules inside a cell actually help that cell function as a supercomputer. The molecules themselves are computing devices. And all of this inside of a cell is concentrated in what's called, seems to be, we, we think it's concentrated, because at the level that, when we start getting the, at these tiny, tiny levels, we're still in the realm of thinking. We're not sure yet, but anyway, the, the thinking is that this information proper, uh, processing property of the cell is concentrated at the level of the skeleton. The cell has fibers that give it shape. It's called a, this, these little filaments are called the cytoskeleton. Cyto means cell, skeleton, is because it functions like a skeleton. It gives the, the structure shape. And it's the interaction between the cytoskeleton and the fluid, or one of the places where the, the, crystal, the, the uh, crystal colloid forms. As the water kind of contacts these filaments, crystals are formed, and it's thought that these filaments themselves are actually supercomputers. 
reading from an article from New Scientist magazine, all time, my all-time favorite scientific magazine, real easy to understand, super duper scientific stuff in it, but real easy to understand. Anyway, October 2018, New Scientist magazine, quote, building computers out of the skeleton that holds our cells together instead of silicon could make them smaller and more energy efficient than the power-hungry machines we rely on today. They're trying to use this supercomputing power of cytoskeletons to create computers for us. The cell framework, the cytoskeleton, is itself made up of smaller pieces, tubes. And these tubes are thousands of times thinner than a human hair. And then there's also little filaments, little tiny wires that are 12,000 times thinner than a human hair. And these, can you imagine this? 12,000 times thinner than human hair. And these structures give the cells an ability to adjust to the environment and also allow the cells to move around. Even more fascinatingly, they act like a quantum computer that processes electrons from the New Scientist article. Quote, these structures regularly distribute information in the form of, uh, in the form of patterns of atoms, electrons, and ions. By forcing these patterns to combine in various ways, it's possible to perform very basic computations, essentially producing the basic units of digital computers. They're computers. They're high-tech computers. They're quantum computers. They work at the quantum level. And all of this is to say that cells and all the things on the periodic table, those little boxes on the periodic table, play a major role in how our body shows up, the health of our body. And here's the good news. We don't have to do anything. We can't do anything to help these, these cells, these supercomputing cells, work, uh, do things. We can give them the raw materials, we can give them the resources, but the cells themselves will des decide what to do based on what's happening in the environment. That's the good news. All we got to do is eat right. All we got to do is supplement. All we got to do is move our bodies. All we have to do is the basic fourfold square of nutrition, at least or square of health, at least from a physical perspective. That is, nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. The fourfold square of health. That's all we got to do. The body has evolved over billions of years, starting with the cell, to be a highly intelligent, super responsive quantum computer that doesn't need our help except for to provide raw materials, of course, and to keep, to keep the environment clean. So cells are little quantum electrical system. They're computing devices. They're batteries. They're electromagnetic circuits, high-tech electromagnetic circuits, and they have little substructures, including the cytoskeleton. And all of this stuff interacts with each other to create a microprocessor, a micro-microprocessor, and we have 100 trillion of them that make us up, a hundred trillion of these tiny little supercomputer, supercomputer uh, microprocessors, information processing devices. And as information is being processed by the cells and all the little substructures, electrical, electri electricity, electrical energy, is forming this kaleidoscope coloring pattern. And this color, if you could but see it, this kaleidoscope coloring pattern that's constantly changing, is a type of information, and it's actually read by other cells. Other cells are enjoying the light show, and they're reading the light show, and they're interpreting it. Each color that a cell presents to other cells is the result of a, a phase shift, a, a shift inside its own chemistry, and this communicates information. So as the flow of electrons are changing, colors are changing, other cells are interpreting this, this phase change information, and this phase change information is is ultimately transmitted to other cells. Other cells are doing this. This whole thing is like this incredible electromagnetic fireworks kaleidoscoping light show inside. If we had inside the body, if we had but the, the, uh, the detectors to see it. And this is how cells know how to secrete things or be. If it's a heart cell or contract, if it's a muscle cell or fire, if it's a nerve cell, and that in a nutshell is how the body works at the cell level. And all of this is happening at the tiniest, 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 thousands upon thousands of times smaller than the level we're able to perceive. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this.
back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase longevity products, call 866-735-2470 or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products off the website. You can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business for a one-time $30 fee. You can be in business for yourself and get your products at the wholesale price. Help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. It's a great way for entrepreneurs to get into the nutrition business. Longevity will help you build your business. And uh, you can make as much money or as little money as you like. It's a it's a awesome way to start your own business if without without having to invest a lot of money. Basically, you can be in business. You can start the business for thirty dollars. It's probably uh, maybe three four hundred dollars if you want to really go all out and make some money. In any case, eight six six seven three five twenty four seventy is the number to call for more information. Or you can click on the join the team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And also, I would like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, or Truth Biomimetic Biomimetic Mineral Mist, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Retinol Gels, and our Truth Omega Six Healing Cream. Are all up at truetreatments.com. Free shipping for the near future. For the actually, we'll probably keep free shipping for a while. You can uh, check them all out at truetreatments.com. Truetreatments.com. We also have uh, blog posts, skin, skin health blog posts, and I also do uh, Instagram lives and Facebook lives periodically. So if you haven't joined the Truth Treatments Facebook page or liked the Truth Treatments Facebook page or our Instagram uh, hashtag Truth Treatments page, you might want to do that. We do. Uh, Mm, answer questions and just uh, I get to rant a little bit about my favorite subject and my favorite m- my favorite health subject, which is the skin. All right, we're talking about the unbelievable, mind blowing science fiction like nature of the cell, the colors. I love the idea that it's that it's colors, all based on the fact that it's crystals. Wherever you see crystals in nature, you got colors, and the crystals inside the cell, if we had the ability to see it would be emitting this pulsing, flashing light show. Infinitesimal quantum fireworks. And not just randomly, random fireworks, but fireworks that are exploding in a controlled and intricate pattern that's indicating by its intensity and by its frequency and by its color, every single physiologic activity that a cell is performing. Everything a cell does emits a color. If we had the ability to read it, like other cells can read it, we could see what that cell ate. We could say we we could see how healthy the cell is. We can see what the cell knows about the environment it's in. We could see when the cell's about to divide. We can see when the cell is sick and about to die. All of these colors are telling a story, and this is actually part of nature. Nature works in color. Wherever you see color. It's the result of an interaction between crystals and light. I remember when I was a kid, one of my favorite toys when I was a little kid was this prism that I got from the museum. I forgot the name of the museum, but when I was a little kid, my mom used to like take us to the museum, and my favorite little toy was this glass prism, which I used to carry around with me, and I was always amazed by how you could just shine it in the light and colors would come out. That whole idea of crystals, prism being a crystal, turning light or dividing light up into its colors is how all colors work in nature. Wherever you see colors, it's the result of a prism-like effect in, the, in response to light. And I'm talking about butterfly wings to fish scales to peacock feathers to the greens and the reds and the blues of the, of the botanical world, the red of a ruby. All of this is a result of crystals and light, or, or actually crystals and electromagnetics, because light is electromagnetics. And cells are the same way. Cells are like rainbow colloidal crystals, and their structures are all held in place by electrical energy. All the structures inside the body are held in place by electrical energy, and as the electrical energy changes, the structure changes, just like a little voltage meter. You have, if you have a little uh, a dial, you could dial more energy or less energy, and as you just dial more energy or less energy, you'd be changing the, the structure of the cell, the color of a cell, the electrical flow, the, uh, the flow of electrical energy in the cell. And all of this is carried by the elements off the periodic table. Mostly the sodium, the potassium, the chloride, the magnesium, and the calcium, the so-called electrolytes. 
and it's all controlled at the level of the membrane, which is made up of fats. This is where food comes in. This is, we, we can't really do anything about how the cells work directly, but indirectly we can by our food. And this is why the digestive system is so important. This is why food and supplementation is so important. Ultimately, the body is built out of what we eat. Ultimately, all of this intricacy inside a cell comes from what we eat or what we supplement with. I mean, this, is, this should be the most obvious thing, but we never think about it. What we eat gets turned into this supercomputer. What we eat gets turned into the cellular supercomputer. What we eat gets, is going to ultimately have an effect on how electricity flows through the cells. It cannot help but be that way because it all comes from what we eat. That's why we're always talking about food and the digestive system. It should be the most obvious thing in the world that food and the digestive system, which is responsible for turning the food into the computer, that's what the digestive system does, or at least begins the process of turning the food into us. This is why if you're going to do nothing else to take care of yourself, you want to take care of the digestive system and make sure you're giving yourself the raw materials, the food and the mighty 90 essential nutrients. So you can make this incredibly complicated, incredibly intricate and infinitesimally small and basically out of our control supercomputing system. I say out of our control, I mean it's out of our direct control. So how the fibroblasts make collagen, how the heart cells beat, how the muscle cells contract or relax, how the skin cells grow, how the stomach cells digest their food and secrete acids and do all the things they do, how, how the liver processes hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of different poisons. It's all controlled by supercomputing cells and organelles, which are all derived from the food we eat. Oh, yeah. There is no place in this supercomputing system. There is no place for drugs. None. Zero. There's no drugs involved. Drugs can only muck up the system. Can you imagine you take a drug and you put, and you uh, try to interfere with this incredibly intricate quantum computing cellular system? You take a drug? It's ridiculous to think that you can get better by taking a drug if you understand how all of this stuff works. It's arrogant beyond measure, and it's just dumb. The whole pharmacomedical strategy of drugging the body, doping the body, is just ridiculous. You know, in, in, when they're making computer chips at Intel, they have to sit in a clean room because a piece of dust that gets in a computer chip, which is thousands of times bigger than a cell, even the smallest computer chip is probably hundreds of times bigger than a cell. Uh, if a little piece of dust gets in there, it'll destroy the computer chip. They have to do it in clean rooms. They got to wear masks. They got to wear gloves and booties so that not even a speck of dust gets into the chip. Imagine in the body, you take a drug, what that's like to a cell. And yet we go to people who are supposed to take care of our health, and God bless them, they believe their own baloney. They think they're doing a good thing. They're not out there, the representatives of the medical model aren't out there to really hurt people. But ultimately, if you understand what's happening inside the body, you will just get out of the way. Put the raw material in there, let the breathe correctly, provide oxygen, keep the space clean, and get out of the way. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, <clears throat> or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470. 866 735 our number today, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls momentarily, so hang on. If you're on hold, we do have lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in reading a really cool book about this whole quantum cellular computing thing we're talking about here, get a book called Wetware, A Computer in Every Living Cell. Author Dennis Bray, B-R-A-Y, Wetware. Love the term wetware as opposed to software or hardware. Wetware is biological computing. Wetware is a thing. Yes, this book is amazing. It's one of my all-time favorite books, actually. I have, I'm, 
I have a lot of books, but I have about 100 books or so that I just go to all the time, and this is one of them, um, wetware. It's all, it describes the computing nature of a cell, the quantum computing nature of a cell. This whole quantum world is so fascinating. It's like another dimension. It is another. It's not like another dimension. It's literally another dimension where all of the rules that we're used to at our dimension go out the window. Think at the level of the quantum, at the quantum world, things appear and disappear spontaneously. They pop in and out of existence. They go through walls. They don't have to, they don't have to bust through a wall. They just appear on the other side of a wall. That's called quantum tunneling. Things uh, communicate, quantum particles communicate to each other at the speed of light. One end, if you manipulate a quantum particle at one end of the universe, it changes at the other end of the universe instantaneously. And that is something that has been replicated many, many times. So-called non-locality, Bell's theorem. There's so many amazing things at the quantum world. This is from, uh, got an article here from Science Alert. New quantum physics experiments suggest reality is an objective. At the quantum level, we all see different things. According to research shared to the preprint server RXIV, physicists from Heriot Watt University dem demonstrated for the first time how two people can experience different realities by, creating, by recreating a classic quantum physics thought experiment. Two people observed the same thing, and they had completely different opinions of it. How often has that had it happened in your life? Well, now it turns out that at the quantum level, that makes perfect sense, because at the quantum level, reality is an objective. That one's really juicy. All right, let me do one story here, and I'll get your calls. This is from, uh, from the uh, German, magazine, uh, German journal, Anat Recorta. I'm not sure what that means. Nitric oxide and the paranasal sinuses. You actually secrete nitric oxide out of the inside of your head. Nitric oxide is activated by deep breathing, nasal breathing. It's so important to become a nose breather, not a mouth breather. The nose is for breathing, the mouth is for eating. When you breathe in through the nose, you activate relaxation hormones that are secreted out of your inner nose, your inner sinuses. Do you know you have a big, you have a, a, a huge respiratory center inside your head, right, right at the top of your nose, over the bridge of your nose. It's called your inner nose. And it secretes nitric oxide. Great way to lower your blood pressure. How many times have we talked in this program about slow, deep breathing for lowering your blood pressure? Well, nitric oxide is nature's natural hypertensive. Antihypertensive, I should say. Natural blood, sh blood pressure lower, and the more you breathe through your nose, the more nitric oxide you're going to make, the, low f the uh, uh, lower your blood pressure is going to be, or the faster your blood pressure will drop down to normal if you're hypertensive. It's super important to be a nose breather. If you're on a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker, you'll be able to wean yourself off your drugs, at least reduce your dose. Make no mistake about it. Beta blockers and calcium channel blockers and antihypertensive drugs are powerful drugs, maybe among the most toxic class of drugs, uh, if, if not the most toxic class of drugs. They're in the top 10, the beta blockers and the calcium channel blockers, metoprolol and losartan and drugs as uh, indural, propranolol, tenormin, uh, atenolol. The, these uh, beta blocker drugs are dispensed as if they were mild and benign and they are no such thing. SDR breathing, slow, deep, rhythmic breathing, especially and particularly through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Just one time, and you can feel the relaxing, the relaxing properties, or the relaxing effects. All right, 844 is our number. Barry's been holding on for a long time. Good morning, my friend Barry. Welcome to the Bright Side. How you doing, buddy? Uh, yes, I, I want to ask you, I have a friend that has the, um, been told she has an aneurysm. Mm. Uh, it's in, uh, the aneur I don't you know, know all the particulars. Where is the I, aneurysm? I think it's in the left, she said it's in the left side of her brain. So I'm okay. wondering if, uh, is there anything that she can do um, naturally? Oh yeah, there's a lot she can do. Do you know what an aneurysm is? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, where the blood vessel is about to rupture. Yeah, it's a weakening in the in the vessel, and you get a bulge, and yes, it's getting rupture. And um, usually they're not dangerous, but you definitely want to treat it as a serious can, a serious sign that the body's breaking down. the the uh, The blood vessels are made up of connective tissue, 
and connective tissue deterioration is the classic sign of bodily breakdown. It's how the body deteriorates. The connective tissue, inclu uh, the bones and the, the uh, connective tissue in the dermis and the connective tissue in the fascia and the connective tissue in the, in the blood vessels starts to break down. So what you want to do is you want to start building connective tissue. Now, I think we, I'm not sure if we talked about this yesterday because I say this all the time. Building connective tissue comes from two directions. Strategies from build, for building connective tissue come in two directions. One, keeping the bad stuff out because the bad stuff will cause deterioration, will accelerate deterioration of the connective tissue. It will rot or decay the connective tissue. Sugar glycates the connective tissue, so it will caramelize the connective tissue. I'm being a little metaphorical here, but literal, but you know that's biochemically what's happening. The sugar is reacting with the protein in the connective tissue, and it's causing it to break down. So going low sugar or no sugar, and bread and pasta and potatoes and all that breaks down in sugar, it's all the same thing. So keep it going ketogenic, put it that way. That's a great strategy. Um, and then also, if she's smoking, smoking also destroys the connective tissue. So that's another thing to consider, uh, to quit smoking. And then there's building the connective tissue, and that means protein. That means uh, collagen peptides. That means a gelatin, uh, zinc, essential fatty acids, vitamin A, vitamin D, uh, glucogel caps from longevity, the glucosamine, our collagen recovery complex for, for, from uh, true skin health, bone broth, bone broth protein, hyaluronic acid, MSM sulfur. I mean, I can go on and on and on. There's so many different ways that you can do it. But basically, you want to focus on the connective tissue. And guess what? When you do that, not only will you strengthen the, the, uh, the circulatory vessels, but you'll also have less wrinkles. You'll also have a faster growing hair and nails. You'll also have stronger bones. You'll also have a reduced risk of, uh, of uh, prolapses. And you'll also have better heart, ha heart health. And that's the beauty of building the connect of using strategies to build the connective tissue is you're not only going to help strengthen the, the vessels if she's dealing with an aneurysm or wants to or prevent having a, a stroke, but also she'll uh, improve all the markers of aging, of uh, anti-aging, improving anti-aging and, and strengthening and, and making her body structure more robust and resilient. So it's a, you know, she'll get multiple benefits by using connective tissue building strategies. Thanks for your call, Barry. You want to hang on? Uh, I'm going to get, got to get to a commercial break. I'll leave you on hold if you got anything else. And then if you are on hold, stay there. We'll get to you as well. 844-236-6010. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hey, Barry, anything else going on or did I answer your question? Uh yeah, I want to know, uh, can, can, can she uh, do these instead of um, getting the surgery? You know, she, she, she's, she's told it back. Uh, you know, I don't know how far along she is. I know a stroke is the last thing you want to have in your life, so I can't answer that question. But whether she has the surgery or not, everything I told you is stuff she should be doing. All so, right. Okay. I, I, okay, good. All right, take care, man. Thanks for calling. appreciate it. And let's move on to Texas and say good morning to Matt. What's up, Matt? How you doing? Uh, great, Ben. Thank you so much for taking my call. Hey, Ben. Sure. When I was when I was younger, I dealt with rosacea, and oh, yeah. the doctors put put me on uh, oral antibiotics for years. And uh, but I wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, Matt. You were on uh, antibiotics for years. That's right. Oral, like every uh, day. That's right. A mild that is dose. A, oh my goodness. What were you on? Minocycline, doxycycline. Uh, uh, Oh, gosh, I, it's been so long, okay. and I, no I can't remember. But I began studying nutrition, and obviously the rosacea went away. Yeah. Um, but instead of taking the antibiotics, so I've been trying to avoid antibiotics, and instead I've been, um, like I say, with cold and flu and infections and things like this, I've been taking uh, sodium bicarb, uh, colloidal okay. silver, li lime juice, elderberry, you know, a variety of natural. And uh, and this, these things work really well. But my question is, if antibiotics uh, harm gut bacteria, <laughs> Would the sodium bicarb and the colloidal silver not also harm gut bacteria? No. There's a difference. Really? You know, no. Most bacteria, uh, the vast majority of bacteria are good bacteria. There's a few bad bacteria. And the neat thing about uh, things like uh, so, uh, colloidal silver and uh, sodium bicarb, sodium bicarb doesn't really have antibacterial properties directly. But they don't affect the good bacteria. They affect the bad bacteria. 
So they will kill off the bad stuff, they will leave the good stuff. That's the neat thing about using nutrients. The body will establish itself. Now you're not exactly taking nutrients, or at least the things you told me are not exactly nutrients with the exception of the bicarb. They're more like uh, therapeutic aids. I think you said elderberry and a few other, I don't recall the other things you said. Those are more like medicinal kinds of compounds. And those tend to leave the uh, bad bacteria, uh, leave the good bacteria alone and only folk, only kill off the bad bacteria. So they're not nutritional though. And so what I would be doing if I were you, in addition to everything you're doing, and you probably are already doing this, is using things like vitamin C, zinc, uh, magnesium, copper, um, uh, good quality protein, quality um, uh, protein with, with uh, immune globulins in it, like egg and whey, for example. Uh, using things that are naturally going to support your body's immune system sp- rather than uh, targeting the bacteria or, or targeting killing the bacteria. In, in other words, instead of killing things, use the body to support the immune system and let the immune system decide what to do. Nonetheless, your bioflavonoids that you're talking about and the plant material that you're talking about and the colloidal silver, uh, they tend to kill off the, uh, the, uh, the bad ones and leave the good ones. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Good to talk to you. All right, let's go to uh, New York, my uh, old stomping grounds, and say good morning to Mike. Hey, Mike, where in New York are you? I'm in Bronx, New York. I've called before. I spoke okay. to you. Get IV right. nutrition. I have Crohn's disease. Um, don't ever say so, that. Don't say I oh, have right. it. Yeah, don't no, say I, I don't. have it. Say, you know, you want to be a little bit flexible here. Sometimes my stomach bothers me. How's that? All right. Yeah. Right? Doesn't well, that sound... It required me to have a... Oh, my a not my stomach, my intestine. Uh, yeah, it required me to have a resection about nine years ago. Okay. Um, so, but where I'm at today is, and I've been listening to you for years, so I'm very familiar with um, your opinions and just um, everything that you said. And um, right now where I go for IV nutrition, the natural press is recommending this food sensitivity um, testing um, to see so I can avoid certain things. And I already know I've spoke, I've listened to you and about how the elimination diet is probably the best way yeah. to figure Why out. Why would you pay somebody food? else? Well, these these testing, you know, there's. Do you know that 80% of the tests or 90% of the tests are done by two companies, Quest and LabCorp. They rule the testing planet, and they make tons of money, billions and billions of dollars, uh, and they're, they basically have a monopoly in all this. And they just tell you stuff that you know yourself. Eat well, a food, see how you feel. It. Just so, just let's say I wanted to do it. Is it that mm-hmm. it's not really reliable, or is Mm-mm. it that it's just not an efficient yes, for, way to yeah. handle? Yeah, like, well, a couple things. Because, Those are great questions. Okay, first of all, there's a phenomenon called delayed hypersensitivity, where you don't react to the food, but you react to something that the body produces out of the food, and they can't test for that. You understand what I'm saying? They can test for your reaction to the food, but they can't test for your reaction to a byproduct of the food after your body's processed it. And so that's one thing. They're not going to be always going to be accurate. Number two, there's false negatives and false positives. Just That's the nature of testing. Whenever you have testing, you have false negatives and false positives. And number three, why would you go outside of your body to test your own body? It, you know, it's a way of just abdicating authority over your own body. It's like saying, I'm, I'm, and I know this isn't true about you because I've talked to you before, Mike, and you're a smart guy, but it's kind of like saying, I'm too stupid to, to tell what's going on in my body. You tell me what's going on in my body. You, you follow me? It seems like a great way to just, like, just get a quick answer. You know what I mean? Not, not don't eat. So I can- don't eat for two yeah. days, which is great for you. And then start yeah. eating your, the, your suspected food and watch what happens. It's as simple as that, really. You know, don't eat for a couple of days if you can fast, which is good for you, even one day. Resensitize your body to specific foods and then have that favorite food. And you know what, Mike? Chances are you know good and well what the problem, are, what the problem is. Yeah. You know, chances are pretty good you're going to have a problem with bread and dairy and you may have a problem with beans, yeah. eggs, you know? I, it's yeah, like, stayed, stayed away from dairy for a little while. Then I put it back in my life, and then it kind of flared well, up you know. with skin and mainly skin. How, how old are you, Mike? So, how old are you? 36. Okay, and then what? What? tell me, what, do you have any symptomology, any blood pressure issues, no. eczema, no. acne? Yeah, the only, yeah the, only, the issue is act like the liver acne, as you've defined it. Um, Where, on and your I back have, or in your neck? Oh. The jawline area, jawline. And sometimes in the groin area. Yeah, it's all the liver, the, bro. It's yeah, all the yeah. lymphatic system. So. And keep in mind, keep in mind, the lymphatic system largely is housed in the intestine. 
the, uh, gut, uh, they call it GALT, gut associated lymphatic tissue, G A L T. And this G A L T, this GALT, gut associated lymphatic tissue, is going to be missing in your case. So you're missing a big chunk of your lymph. You follow me? Yeah. And that's going to make it much easier for your lymphatic system, what's left, the circulatory system that's left, lymphatic circulatory system that's left, to become clogged and congested. So it's Come very important, body. Mike, that you focus on lymphatic drainage issues or, or um, strategies. Like moving you know the I'm body and like that. Well, I've there's a bunch of them. Lymphatic, tr- lymphatic massages. Great. Thing, drainage. Are you doing yeah. that? Stuff. Are you doing lymphatic no, massage? I'm, I'm starting to. I'm, that's what I'm exploring, how to support my lymph, the lymphatic system. You can, do your own, like you can do your own lymphatic massage. Go on YouTube and look up okay. self-lymphatic massage. So you, and I, everybody should be doing this, actually. It's real easy to do. You just basically rub. You basically massage yourself towards your heart. It's, it's, uh, and it's a very healthy strategy for everybody to do, but especially you because you're missing part of your lymph, and it's already, it looks like it's starting to show up. And by the way, you're only 36. When you're 56, and make no mistake about it, Mike, it's going to be 50. The 20 years between now and 56 are going to go by fast, bro. I'm telling you, yeah. somebody who's been there, who knows? Well, it I'm goes glad really. That I found found something like this program because I can only imagine if I would have continued doing the same thing. Well, that's beautiful. And that 20 makes me years f- later. Awesome. And I love hearing coming that. Back to this area to speak, like in the New York uh, area. You region, know, I haven't really, I haven't thought about that. I mean, I'm from there, and I still have my mom there, so I do go back periodically. But I haven't haven't thought about going back to speak. Oh, but you're you're going to be sick. Oh, because I could even go up there because it's. Close. Oh, yeah, I do talks up here all the time in Colorado. Okay. Yeah, just keep. I'll, I'll announce them on the radio there. program. Let me just tell you a couple more things because we're we're going to run out of okay. time here. Um, hang upside down. You know those okay. inversion devices. Yes. You get one of them. They'll be for a guy like you. It's critical. Absolutely, and it'll okay. be really helpful for your skin. <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, hot and cold showers. You know about those. Um, yeah, actually, when trying to research your old stuff, I was looking at that. Yeah, I, I think I did a video on, I did a yeah. Critical Health News video, I think. Go to criticalhealthnews.com, and I think there's a video okay. up on, on lymphatic, uh, on ways to take care of your lymph. Dry brushing is a great way to take care of your lymph. Vitamin okay. E and fat-soluble nutrients in general, uh, vitamin E, lecithin, anything you do to support fat metabolism and fat digestion will help the lymph. The lymph carries fats. So okay. the, 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 the um, less you're processing fats, the more likely it is for the lymphatic system to get congested. So uh, make sure you're focusing on fat absorption, fat digestion, and then just move your body, man. Get in the gym, run, jump yeah. up and down on a rebounder. Anything you do to improve circulation. Remember, the lymph doesn't have a pump. It depends on our bodily right. movement, our skeletal muscle to pump it. Mike, I'm out of time. Thanks for your call. God all bless right. you, and thanks for the kind words. I'm glad we could help you out on the bright side. And that is all the time we have for today. Don't forget to check out Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the Longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link or call 866-735-2470 for more info. That's all for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 